everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Andreana Seymour and this is my video series about the changes in Photoshop in the 2021 update. In today's video, we'll be going over the sky replacement feature. Um, so let's get to it. I have a few different images that I'm going to be working with here. If you want to have a day where you are just playing around, having a good time, you know, not trying to get anything really um, accomplished, but just to have fun, I think sky replacement is a good way to um, enjoy Photoshop and just experiment without really thinking so hard. So you can see here, I just have a bunch of images um, that I photograph that I like. So um, now's a good time. Remember how, you know, sometimes, at least for me, you know, I go out and just photograph skies. I'm like, what the hell am I gonna use that for? Well, now keep photographing skies because you're gonna be using skies all the time with this new fun feature. Alrighty, so here we are with uh, working with the sky replacement. I do have a couple images that we're gonna be working with. One has a more defined horizon line, other one, the horizon line is challenging to figure out where the sky replacement should begin. So the first one is super easy. We're gonna to go to edit. We're gonna to go to sky replacement. And you're literally going to pick a sky. I'm gonna first pick uh, a sky. This is actually my sky. I'm gonna just pick a sky that uh, Photoshop has included. So we have blue skies, we have spectacular skies. You know what, let's do a spectacular sky. How does that sound? Let's do that, okay? So you can see here, um, this doesn't really look that realistic. So I think that picking a sky, let's try a different one. Um, this could work. Again, I don't know if that's as realistic as my sky. Let's try blue skies. Let's try, let's try this one. Hmm, that could work. That actually could work, right? I can make some adjustments, I but I think that looks pretty good. But I'm gonna use my sky here. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit of how to um, import one of your skies. So that looks good. Um, I don't even need to do anything. Um, shift edge, fade edge. Um, I can make some adjustments to the sky. I'm just gonna brighten that up slightly. I'm gonna make that temperature a little bit warmer. You can see here with a slider, I'm just gonna over exaggerate the slider so you guys can see. Uh, actually, you know what, I, I lied. I'm gonna make it a little cooler. There we go. Um, the scale means how big you're going to make that background of that sky. I think the scale looks pretty good to me. Uh, your blend mode, um, in terms of the blending in the sky, do you want a blend mode of screen and multiply? I know that screen looks a little bit better because it's going to uh, open up those shadows here, but let's just show the difference. Right, so you can see, I'm just gonna open it up the screen. It's also giving a little bit of touch of light here in the wood panel. And then I'm going to export that as a new uh, layer. So what's happening here in this group, it's automatically gonna group for you. It's called Sky Replacement Group. Let's break down each one of these layers individually. So what it's doing for you automatically, it's automatically giving you a curve adjustment. It's uh, doing a foreground lighting. So you can see here, wh what is it affecting? It's affecting the sky, okay, foreground. Then it's gonna bring in that image for you. It's masking that called sky. So where's the mask? It's here in the um, objects. It's automatically adjusting a sky temperature and sky brightness. So for everything that it's done, it's reading your original image and trying to balance that out. That looks pretty good. So one thing that I'm going to do though, is I'm going to then retouch slightly, uh, open up and, and warm up the shadows. So um, I'm going to use the selection that it's given me, right? Make my work less. I am then going to inverse the selection. Let me just put this in full screen so you guys can see. I'm going to inverse the selection. So inverse the selection is Command Shift I. I am then going to go to my um, adjustments, go to my curves, I'm going to open up the shadows, okay? I can also then adjust the color balance within my curves. Uh, so I'm gonna make this a little bit warmer. Um, so I can go to my blue and I can add 
some yellow to it. There we go. Okay. So what I did took no time. I just used my selected my selections in my sky replacement, loaded them, and made my adjustment. Group these together, and now I can turn that on and off. And there we go. That is how you replace a sky with one of your images. Okay, what happens if you want to replace the sky? with one of your images um, that you've photographed. So you're gonna go to edit, sky replacement. Um, you're gonna hit the sky. You're going to go to the plus sign, okay? Um, you're gonna go to, I'm gonna show you where my skies are. Okay, so you could import a sky. So these are my different skies that I've photographed. So maybe let's try let's try let's try let's try this one no let's try this one all right let's try this hit open i'm going to call this um what should i call this i'm going to call this um uh, i'm going to call this moody moody sea sky hit okay all right so now there we go so i have that sky Okay, so here we are with another image where it's a, it's a little uh, bit challenging to um, figure out for Photoshop, which is the horizon. Is it the bridge or is it actually where the water meets the fog? So the defined horizon line um, is, is tricky here. So let's see what Photoshop does with sky replacement. So again, you're going to go to edit. Um, whoop, we have to make sure that we're actually on the, the background. So you're going to go to edit. Sky replacement. We're going to find the sky that might work best with the image. Okay, now uh, this does look kind of cool, but the perspective of what is happening doesn't look too realistic. So if I was doing maybe a doomsday photograph, uh, this could work, but I want this to look as realistic as possible. So I'm not going to use that image. Uh, let's try to find an image uh, that could work. So how do you know what image could work? I guess it's all about mood, right? So what's the mood that you want? So I think this one with the rainbow could be realistic because it does blend in very well with the gray um, of the sky, meaning the gray of the fog. So it was very foggy that day with this rainbow coming through. But with this image, I do have to shift the edge slightly. So I'm gonna just shift this edge down a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna shift it down because I want it to um, blend in a little bit as if it's like this light sh uh, shining through. The other thing that I know that I definitely wanna do is I wanna scale this slightly. I'm gonna move it up so you can see how it's going up through the frame. Um, remember the last time I showed you the brush mode here? Um, I'm probably gonna come in there in a, in a bit to adjust that. Um, now, the other thing that you can do in terms of, well, does that look good? You can always adjust the foreground in terms of, do you want multiply or do you want screen? Um, multiply is a lot better. Uh, lighting adjustments, uh, making it slightly, um, do I want to make this warmer or cooler? Uh, I think that's pretty good. Maybe a little cooler. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to adjust where the rainbow is hitting down below. So I do possibly want to, let's see if we could. No, all the way up this way is better. And then shift the edge up. Okay, so I think that looks. Now you can see that I'm getting, um, there we go. I'm just, I probably have to just leave that the way that is. Bring the fade edge down a little bit and I can always adjust that later. All right, so now I'm gonna go into my brush because I do wanna adjust this edge slightly. So my, uh, I'm gonna use my overlay blend mode and let's see 50 percent come in here and i'm going to so why did i know that i want to use my overlay because i'm dealing with 50 percent gray here i'm also going to make sure that i'm like at a super soft brush um, you can also change all your different brush options um which is pretty cool but we're just going to keep this simple okay so one thing with sky replacement is that you can definitely 
um, go down a rabbit hole and have like a lot of fun uh, mixing different skies, blending different skies, masking in um, uh, different parts of the image. Uh, if you want a rainbow sky and merge it with a, with a dramatic sky, uh, dramatic cloud sky, you can do that. But I'm just gonna keep it very simple and then you guys can kind of see um, the different options that you all have to work with the sky replacement. So uh, I have my background selected. I'm gonna go to um, edit sky replacement. Um, make sure that you're choosing a sky that works for the image. So for example, if I choose, um, I'm just gonna choose something else you guys can see, right? Like this does look cool, but it doesn't look realistic. And I'm sure I can mask things out, but just where the horizon line meets, it doesn't really work uh, because with the file that I have, remember that the it was a really foggy day. So this rainbow, I think, fits the mood of um, this image of the Verrazano shot in a very foggy day. So I'm gonna shift the edge. So I'm gonna shift the edge to the left. I'm gonna fade this uh, a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring down the fade. Cool, I'm actually gonna shift this a little bit more. There we go. Um, also too, I want the rainbow to be up higher in the sky. So that means I have to scale the image. Okay, oh, no, bring that down. I don't know, bring that back up. And again, it's, it's not perfect. It's not like at, you know, 123, it's gonna look like this and minus 62 will look like that. It's really just playing around and seeing where, uh, where it looks the best. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I am gonna scale it a little bit more because what I want is that I want the rainbow to come from the corner. So that looks great. So now I'm gonna hit um, okay. Now I could also use my brush mode to use different um, blend modes in terms of blending in my sky with the uh, background of the fog, but I'm gonna do it in a different way. So I'm gonna hit okay. So now I have this um, sky replacement. Now, one thing that I can do is I could always work within the mask that's given me. So I can go to B for brush. I'm going to make sure that my uh, brush mode is um, soft. So I'm gonna really lower that down all the way. And now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to mask out with black, B for brush, make this larger. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to mask this bridge. Actually, what I'm gonna do is this. I just changed my mind, guys. This is what happens. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna mask that out, okay? So watch, so I wanna bring some of this, let me just show you. I wanna bring some of this bridge in the foreground and I'm realizing that the mask won't work. But what can work is if I take, uh, I'm going to um, take this image here, right? I'm gonna copy that, so I'm gonna do commands uh, actually, Command J. Right, I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to bring that above there. I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to mask this. I'm going to hit uh, Invert the Mask option. Right now, I'm going to use my brush. I'm going to hit my white brush. I'm going to turn down the flow very low. I'm going to make sure that I have. Right now, what I can do is look at that. I can bring back some of that bridge. Hit X. There we go. Hit X again. Hit X. There we go. So now it looks like that bridge is popping through where the rainbow is appearing. Now again, with masking is if you feel like it's too much, I'm just gonna make this a little bit too extreme. You can always get rid of it by hitting black, coming back in here, and just masking that away. 
There we go, perfect. And here we are. Now we have the sky replacement. It's a little bit of a rainbow. I can also come in here and I could also uh, create, if I wanted to lower that opacity a little bit to make it not so intense. There we go. And now you have your sky. All right, so now here are the two different versions that I have of the sky replacement. Um, one, uh, you know, both of them are being a little bit creative with the rainbow and the, the nice sunset. But you can see that they both took me no time to do, super quick, and they look realistic. So it's up to you in terms of how you want to make, uh, or how it's up to you of how you want to change the look of your sky. All right, thanks guys for watching. Um, this is it for the uh, 2021 Photoshop series. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I do like your comments, so please include them down below. Um, I will see you next time uh, to go over a little bit more detail, um, some more advanced versions of Photoshop in terms of uh, you know retouching hair, doing some portrait work, uh, and, and incorporating all the new elements that Photoshop has to offer. So I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching.